Hey there viewers, is your relationship falling into the gutter? Are they doing things that just seem pure evil? Awful behavior is difficult to identify at first, but over time you'll get the hang of it. In today's video, we'll be discussing alarming signs that the person you're with is toxic. Are they liars? Do they like to see you miserable? Do you take accountability for their actions? Do they purposefully give you bad advice? We'll be talking all this and more. Number one, your pain gives them happiness. It might surprise you, but there are people in your life who act like friends, but find pleasure in seeing you miserable. Are they even your friends in this case? The most common signs of evil people are when they become way too happy at other people's expense. When you're going through something difficult, try to observe their reactions when you tell them about it. Do they seem happy? Are they even laughing? The biggest problem with people like this is that they're so damaged personally, seeing you unhappy creates pleasure for them. You really don't want people like this anywhere near you. If you have someone like this in your life, you know what to do. Cut them off. Have you ever had to deal with a friend that seemed to enjoy your misery? Share your story with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number two, they wanna control your life. Toxic people enjoy controlling your life. They'll manipulate you in every possible way in order to have the first say in everything. And this isn't even about their desire to control you specifically. They just want to feel powerful. Toxic people project their emotions over others. This is why they have a super hard time trusting anyone but themselves. They often come across as polite and concise at first. You become impressed by this and only get closer to them. Bam! They start controlling your life too. The controlling tactics will be subtle at first, seemingly innocent. It then turns to constant emotional manipulation and guilt tripping. You'll start second guessing yourself and feel as if you're walking on eggshells around them. If you recognize this pattern, the first thing you need to do is take control back. Be polite, but firm. Don't be hard on yourself. Stand your ground and if the person tries to guilt trip you, walk away. Number three, liars. When I was in college, I had a roommate who would lie over harmless things small, petty lies that were relatively harmless. I soon realized it was a mistake to disregard the constant lying as harmless. This is the first sign you're dealing with a toxic person. Now, don't get me wrong, everyone lies here and there, but people who keep lying, they're toxic. They turn into pathological liars who don't even realize they're doing it. And this goes to the extent where they start living the lie. Toxic people believe their own lies. No matter how much you try to show them reality, they won't see it. They live in their own world constructed by lies. You just can't get them away from their delusions. This behavior harms people around them because they'll create their own versions of events and continue to hurt themselves. Good luck with trying to show them the other side. Number four, they purposefully give you bad advice. Cruel people take delight in others' misfortunes and they don't shy away from creating it for others. Many of us had at least one friend who would give bad advice. Bad friends do this to control their reality. They get a power trip from this. You'll be misled into thinking a certain way about them. Let's say they're envious of you having a great partner. They'll try to mislead you into thinking that your partner is cheating on you, or they are at least inconsiderate of your feelings. From here, you'll become paranoid. Your sorrow is their happiness. The most prominent tools they use to mislead people are misquoting, making ambitious statements, and spinning the truth. If you see someone misleading others, go the other way. A leopard doesn't change its spots. Number five, zero accountability. An apology? What's that? One thing that toxic people hate is being held accountable for their actions. They avoid it like the plague. Everything that goes wrong is your fault, not theirs. You'll never find a toxic person giving an honest apology. Even if they do apologize, it'll be a half-hearted one meant to manipulate you didn't understand? Well, maybe this will give a clearer picture. Ever had a friend who says the meanest things in their fit of rage? And when you tell them how they hurt your feelings, they straight up deny having said those things. They'll also accuse you of misunderstanding their intentions. This is gaslighting, making you question your own reality. It's a favorite manipulation tool for toxic people. Their apologies look like this. I'm sorry you misunderstood me. It's unfortunate you took it this way. Well, I'm sorry I hurt you, but I didn't mean to. Insincere apologies are the worst. You'll never hear a toxic person say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said those things. They must have hurt. 
I'll try to be a better person. Before moving ahead, here's a video you might like. Watch and learn about the nine signs that your girlfriend is the absolute greatest. Number six, they don't regret anything. So let's recap what we've learned about toxic people. They lie, they gaslight you, control your life. Toxic people will give you bad advice on purpose and mislead you. But that's not even the worst part. Toxic people don't even regret doing all of this. They have no remorse over making you feel miserable. You can keep trying to make them realize how their actions hurt, but they'll blame everything on you. Being constantly unapologetic is a huge red flag. If you have a person like this in your life, be cautious around them. Number seven, they always act like a victim. Toxic people love spinning the truth in a way that makes them look like victims, even when they're the perpetrators. For instance, a toxic person will criticize you harshly. Once you feel terrible, they'll accuse you of misunderstanding, and it won't stop there. They'll then flip the tables and act hurt by your accusations. They are now the ones who have been wronged, even if it was you who initially had your feelings hurt. Number eight, they are cruel. Some people have no moral compass. They'll do things as they please. Anyone hurt by their actions is just collateral damage. They'll brush you under the carpet with zero remorse. Many toxic people aren't shy about their intentions. They love inflicting pain on others, especially emotional pain. A toxic partner will try to harm you in ways you can't even imagine. If you love your dog, they'll knowingly leave the backyard door open and let it escape. If you're conscious about your body, they'll give you a left-handed compliment and make you feel insecure. These folks know your pain points and weaknesses and use them against you. So if you have someone in your life who acts like this, it's time to withdraw. You don't need this type of toxicity. It drains you. Number nine, they're bad friends. Are you with someone you believe to be toxic? Watch how they are with friends. Toxic people are toxic around everyone. They'll be the jealous, awful friends your mom warned you about. These people are not unconditional friends. They're only your friends when they need something. You can't benefit them. They simply move on to a person who can help them. This is one of the true telltale signs of a terrible friend and a bad person. Do you think you have someone toxic in your life? Who is it? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.